Okay, so this is, um, Ollie's got this concept. He's got his visual reference and he had a boat as well, which you can't see, but he had that. Uh, I've already done some work on this bottle, but before his bottle was all um, soft, diffused and smudged blending. You can see a little bit of it still here. And with water, the reason people avoid water and glass is that they, they don't know how to render it and they try and just do a, a soft shading. The, the thing with water and glass is there are reflections. So you have uh, sharp changes in the tone. So they're not blended tones, the sharp changes. So what I've just done previously is I worked back in. You also have an ellipse, which you've got to observe. So one of the things was that, um, and Ollie's one, this one was a bit flat and he'd done the inner ring too big. So I rubbed that out and I've brought in the inner ring and you can see that's quite dark. If you look there, it's quite dark. So I went in quite dark there. Then you can see, even though he's done an outline on this because he traced this down with this photograph. If you're doing a tracing down, it's better to have another photograph that doesn't have your pen lines on it. So you get a true picture. But I can see there's white on the rim. So all I did was quite a strong line of white on the rim and left it. Nothing else, no blending. I don't need to worry, it's almost quite done quite hard. You know, we're always saying do it soft. This was actually burnished in quite hard. Once you think you know exactly where you're putting it and you need to know exactly where you're putting it, and we could do a little bit extra there, so I'll put a little bit extra in. You just go strongly on that rim and leave it. And let the grey be the grey underneath. And this is how you get quite a 3D thing. We need a little bit more white here. So we're going to come in, get that pencil on there. Thank you. Pencil's now being a bit evil. Sometimes you can actually wet it and some of them it comes up better. If you turn your pencil, when it's not going on so well, it's because that bit of the paper's got a bit tired as well. Okay, so here we've got white, white again quite strongly, white again quite strongly, you can see it here. And then a strong ribbon of light here and a strong ribbon of light here. But we are not going to blend them, we just leave them there as it is and it becomes quite convincing about the three dimension. The only thing we've got to add now is our dark, okay? So we look at the shape, although it's ragged here, it's still a sharp change from this, which is more of a gray. So look at that shape, it's kind of like an arch, half an arch. And we look at the distance, it comes up to about here, and it's darkest on that part. So first, let's just get the general shape and how, here we are laying down the tone lightly, but I'm not blending it. I'm just laying down some tone. And then I'm going to stop. When it meets the white, it's quite a contrast there, black to white. So it's not really going to be much grey. There's a tiny bit of grey there. But it's mostly going to be a change from black to white. And that is how you build up. Sharp changes of tone, very little blending to create water. Anything like the reflective parts on the fish, the same thing. You'll see little highlights of white and then definitive blue and definitive dark blue. Okay, that's it.